we are heading to a secret laboratory outside of Helsinki, Finland. It looks sort of like a small batch brewery, but in fact, scientists here are breeding a whole new species, one that they hope is going to feed the entire planet. Historically, we've understood food something that is large enough so that caveman could see and sense. Now, we are reversing, in a way, back in time to more simpler species. Nutritionally, we don't need to really compromise anything. It is the same kind of food as we've uh, ever had, but it's just single cells. This is the first site for the company Solar Foods, and the protein they're creating here is made from, well, air. We're sometimes asked if solane is synthetic. It's actually quite the opposite. It might be the most natural food we've ever had. Specifically, Solar Foods is making protein using electricity and something the Earth has in great abundance, carbon dioxide. It's the same what plants do do today, using sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air. Solar Foods' mission is to disconnect food production from agriculture. This is Just Might Work, a show about surprising solutions to our biggest problems. I'm Passi, one of the founders and CEO at Solar Foods. Solar Foods is a food tech company, but primarily we are a clean tech company. We are here for environmental mission. One third of the environmental impact to human action is due to what we eat. And about 80% of that is due to animal-based products. We need to somehow remove animal from the food system. Solar Foods' goal is to detach food production entirely from agriculture, and for food production to no longer need vast amounts of space or resources. Their solution is Solene, the most sustainable food ever produced by humans. The impact of Solene is about one-tenth compared to that of plant-based proteins, and about one-hundredth, so one percent, from animal products, specifically meat. Solene's primary ingredients are simply air and electricity. This means that not only does it pave the way for more sustainable food production, but it can be made in places that traditionally have issues growing food. Drought-ridden deserts, isolated islands, or even in space. And while fake meat alternatives might taste like the real thing, their biggest challenge to date is how to sustainably and cheaply reinforce it with the reason we eat meat in the first place for protein. Solene is a single cell protein that nutritionally is somewhere between dried meat and dried soy. What we are simply doing is we are growing this organism in a fermenter. It's similar to making beer or wine, but instead of sugars, we feed the fermenter and the organism with hydrogen that we make from water with electricity and carbon dioxide. We also add some nutrients in the growth media. We mix minerals like uh, phosphorus, sulfur, calcium, iron, potassium. Normally plants when they grow so they get this, these minerals from soil. You can see that it's quite bright yellow and the color comes from beta carotene so it's basically the same as in, in carrots. We let this process run continuously, take the product liquid out and dry the uh, organism uh, from the liquid. And then you end up with a tried powder. And it contains 65% protein, 5% fatty acids, and then roughly 15% dietary fibers, and then some minerals. Solar Foods was not the first to discover that protein could be extracted from carbon dioxide. In fact, Solene's origins lie in deep space. The earliest research and the identification of this form of life on this planet was done in connection to space research in 50s and 60s, actually, by NASA and Battelle a Research Institute. They had the big project of taking the man to moon. Also, there were some scientists looking how to feed people on long space voyages. It had very limited use for decades, and now it seems it has a practical meaning. The gas atmosphere off Mars is mostly carbon dioxide, so basically the main raw materials are already there. Solar Foods continues to work on this original mission, prepping plans to take Solene to Mars. But the founders are primarily focused on feeding spaceship Earth. While Solene can be used as pure protein for survival in extreme environments like space, 
Solar Foods recognizes that to be adopted around the world, Soli needs to appear seamlessly into people's regular diets. So it's been designed to have a neutral flavor, so it can go into the foods people already eat, like noodles or cereal. The idea is that it appears in the food system as a completely new primary ingredient. We don't expect anyone actually to eat dried powder, but we integrate Solene into different kind of food products. Dairy alternatives or meat alternatives like Solene bite here on top, fortifying noodles or even in the broth, comprising a complete dish. The earth we are living in, it cannot sustain the way we are living. Carbon dioxide is an infinite source. It is there available all the time uh, in, the, in the atmosphere. Today, we understand that as a byproduct or a pollution or emission, but actually it can be a very valuable uh, raw material in future that is freely available everywhere. I'm breeding it out now. Some countries have oil, some don't, but now everybody has carbon dioxide and electricity resource. So we can capture that and turn that back to food. Therefore, in the future, if we grow real meat, how it was produced will have nothing to do with current form of industrialized animal keeping or agriculture. But as we see the prices of solar and wind uh, electricity going down, we're going to be cost competitive against all other proteins in the factory scale. This is just the pilot site for solar foods. As they expand, so does a reality in which our pursuit of nutrition no longer relies on deforestation, desertification, or the depletion of our oceans, but instead becomes a truly closed-loop system, working side-by-side side with nature.